Hi there, welcome back to our channel. Hit that subscribe button and raise the Jolly Roger for a thrilling voyage into history. Ever pondered about the life of Somali pirates? Well, today we're sailing those waters. Our story begins in the early 1990s, a tumultuous period in Somalia's history. The central government collapsed, leaving a power vacuum that plunged the nation into chaos. The traditional livelihoods of fishing and herding were in decline, with overfishing by foreign fleets decimating local fish stocks. The end of the Cold War had littered the region with an abundance of weapons, readily available for anyone needing to secure their survival. In this desperate situation, a new form of livelihood emerged, a strategy born of necessity rather than greed. Somali piracy began to rise, carving out its own legend in the treacherous waters off the coast of East Africa. These pirates weren't the eyepatch-wearing, parrot-shouldered characters of storybooks, but real people driven to extremes by economic hardship and political instability. Skilled in navigating the treacherous currents of the Indian Ocean, they quickly became notorious for their swift skiffs and daring raids. Armed with rifles, machetes, and even rocket-propelled grenades, they targeted commercial vessels and cruise ships. They captured cargo and held crews hostage for ransom, becoming a formidable force that dominated the Indian Ocean trade routes for decades. But it's important to remember that Somali piracy wasn't driven by a lust for gold or a desire for adventure. It was a survival strategy, a response to the breakdown of law and order on land, the depletion of natural resources, and the desperation of a people struggling to survive. Piracy became a lucrative source of income for many Somalis, providing a way to support their families in a country where unemployment was rampant and opportunities were scarce. It was a risky business but for many, the potential rewards outweighed the dangers. Through these turbulent times Somali piracy was born, a survival strategy in an unstable world. As we delve deeper into this complex history, remember that the pirates we're discussing were individuals caught in the crossfire of global forces, making tough choices in a world that offered few alternatives. Once at sea, Somali pirates became a force to reckon with. With the vast Indian Ocean as their playground, these daring seafarers navigated their swift skiffs with exceptional precision and audacity. Their boats, small and fast, were often powered by outboard motors, allowing them to easily outmaneuver the larger commercial vessels they preyed upon. Armed to the teeth with rifles, machetes, and in later years even rocket-propelled grenades, these pirates were not a group to underestimate. Their boarding tactics were as ruthless as they were efficient. Using grappling hooks and ladders, they would swiftly ascend the sides of their target vessels, often catching the crews completely off guard. Once aboard, the pirates would assert control, taking the crew hostage and claiming the cargo. Their goal was rarely to cause harm, but rather to negotiate for ransom, a practice that proved to be quite lucrative. The division of these spoils followed a strict hierarchy, with the planner of the attack and the first pirate to board the ship, typically receiving the largest shares. But it wasn't all about the plunder. Somali pirates were also known for their exceptional navigation skills. Generations of seafarers had honed their ability to navigate the treacherous currents and unpredictable weather of the Indian Ocean. This knowledge passed down from father to son, allowed them to dominate the trade routes and evade capture for centuries. Life at sea was not easy however, the pirates had to contend with the constant threat of naval patrols, rival pirate gangs, and the harsh conditions of the open ocean. Despite these challenges they persevered, driven by the promise of a better life and the thrill of the chase. In their small fast boats Somali pirates ruled the Indian Ocean, leaving a trail of stories in their wake. Their actions disrupted global trade, threatened the safety of seafarers, and led to an international response. But their legacy also speaks to the resilience and resourcefulness of the Somali people, painting a complex picture of survival in a world of uncertainty. As the 21st century dawned, Somali piracy had become a global concern. A challenge of this magnitude, disrupting international trade and threatening the safety of seafarers, demanded a response on a global scale. And that's exactly what it got. International powers quickly recognized the gravity of the situation. Naval patrols from various countries including the United States, the European Union, China and Russia, began to frequent the Indian Ocean. Their presence a constant reminder of the world's commitment to curbing the pirate menace. These multinational forces worked together, sharing intelligence and coordinating movements to keep the pirates at bay. But naval intervention was just one piece of the puzzle. With the pirates showing no signs of backing down, commercial vessels had to take matters into their own hands. Increased security measures on ships became the norm. 
Some vessels even hired private armed security personnel, transforming merchant ships into floating fortresses. These measures weren't just about protecting cargo, they were about safeguarding lives. The international community also worked to establish safe corridors for commercial vessels. These designated routes, patrolled by naval warships, provided a degree of safety for ships passing through the treacherous waters off the Somali coast. But these corridors were more than just safe passages, they were symbols of the world's collective determination to resist the pirate threat. Despite these measures the piracy problem didn't vanish overnight, it was a long, arduous battle, a testament to the resilience and resourcefulness of the Somali pirates. But the international response did make a difference. The number of pirate attacks declined, and the seas became a bit safer for those who dared to navigate them. The world responded but the tale of Somali pirates, their struggles and their survival, remains a part of history that needs a closer look. While the pirates' actions were disruptive, even terrifying, it's important to remember that they were also a product of their circumstances, a response to economic hardship and political instability. Their story, like the ocean they sailed, is deep and complex, full of currents that pull in different directions. So, what have we learned about Somali pirates? Indeed, they were more than just fearsome seafarers. Their rise was a response to economic hardship and political instability, forcing many into a life of piracy. At sea they were skilled navigators and daring raiders disrupting global trade. The international community responded with naval patrols and security measures reducing their influence. While the actions of Somali pirates disrupted many lives, understanding their origins and motives offer a more nuanced perspective of their place in history.